Time to hit the old sweet tooth once again, folks, as we cap down to Easter. This time we're going to take a look at something a little bit sour with ears. It's right, Sour Patch Bunnies coming at you next. Right, folks, back once again with another Easter countdown American candy from a British soccer fan's point of view. And we'll get to it in just a second. If you're new to the channel, smash your subscribe button, keep your bang up to date with all things Sour Patch Kids, Bunnies related, Black and Rose related, world football related. We get all here. A new one, Roofski. So it is continue the seven day countdown to Easter. Every day, we're going to take a little look at uh, an Easter snack treat that is available. We're going to taste it for the very first time. I've got a sealed deal uh, Sour Patch Kids bunnies uh, for you in just a second. Um, this is uh, a very, very sweet, uh, well, it's a very common American snack, the old Sour Patch Kids. Um, so we're going to give them a blast right here, right now. So, yeah, I like I like gummies. I'm a big old gummy fan, but usually my gummy of choice is Haribo. Of course, been born and raised in Germany. They love my Haribos, so that's, you know, and, and, and they just come up with new ones every flip in two seconds. So there's always, always one to try. So we're going to get stuck into the sour, sour Patch Bunnies bad boys right here for you right now. So let's get cracking and open up this multi-pack. Again, just trying a couple of them. The rest will go in for the old Easter basket. So no wastage here, folks. No wastage. Now, if you are interested, here comes some nutritional information for you right about now. Uh, so while that's up on the screen, I'm going to try and get into this bag. And there we go. We are in. Can I smell anything while we get into the big old bag? No, I cannot smell. Well, maybe a hint of something. Um, so they do come in a whole variety of little bad boys in there. But we're only focused in on just the one. So here we go. One Sour Cat Patch uh, Minis packet. Uh, two of these, 110 calories uh, for you. But how many of the little blighters do you get in there? Now, again, these are... Um, Slightly different from the original Sour Patch Kids with the fact that they've got bunny ears just like this guy. So we're going to get cracking and open up one of these little mini packs and see how many uh, Sour Patch Kids we got in and what colours do they have. I don't even know the traditional colours. Well, uh, we're going to have a look at them. So this little puppy has maybe, what, five, three, six Sour Patch Kids right in there uh, with the colours of green yellow, red, and orange. So we've got a six Sour Patch little babies with ears uh, and four different flavors and a little bit of leftover sugar. Now, to me, I can't even, I can, okay, you can maybe make out this little fella's got ears. I don't know, but uh, yeah, I wish I had a, a normal Sour Patch Kid to compare it to, but we're gonna try the yellow. Now, I do, like I said, I do like a gummy um, and I do like something sour and I do like something sweet. So here we go. Every hour, the yellow fella. Every hour, and sticky. It really does stick on the old teeth. If you've got any dental issues, you might uh, you might want to give these suckers a miss. But it's good. It is good. I think I think we could be in trouble here because I might like these. I might like these. I'll try an orange one. The yellow one was good. You can taste. Did it have a flavour? Probably not. Maybe I should do these blindfolded. The orange, mm. definitely good flavor. Not too, not not not, not that sour enough. Uh, we're gonna go for the red, which is also the pink, red slash pink. It doesn't really have, doesn't really, I, I, to be honest with you, I can't really taste the fruit, the fruit, well, there is definitely a, a change of flavor, but it can't really, you can't think, oh, that red one was strawberry or cherry. It just, it just can taste that. Now, what we're gonna do here, I'm gonna open up another one, just because, and we are gonna do it blind. I'm gonna dunk in there blind, shut my eyes, and I'm gonna try and tell you what color it is by not looking at it. So I'm not even gonna know what's in here. So I'm not looking, not cheating, she's not cheating. So we're gonna go over here, I'm gonna dig deep. I'm gonna show, close my eyes, I'm gonna show you, hopefully. I don't know, that's what it is, right here on my nose. So here we go, I don't even know. So I won't even know until I look back at this video. So Linda, can you see what that color is? Oh yeah, I got it. Okay, so I'm gonna try and tell you. So I can now open my eyes. 
Yellow. Was it yellow? No. It wasn't yellow. No. What, what does it taste like? Yellow. I thought it tastes like yellow. What does it taste like? Yellow is not a flavor. Lemon. It tastes like lemon. It didn't taste like lime. So it was green. Okay, here we go again. If it's the same one, tell me it's the same one. Is it the same one? Nope. Okay. Was that one yellow? Dear? No, yeah, it was. Yes, get in there. So I could taste one there. Huh? Next one? Sorry, didn't get to show you that one. She's not even looking at this one. No, because I'm watching outside. I don't know. She doesn't know. Um, I'm going to say orange. I don't know. Maybe there'll be a sound effect when I get to the edit to say thumbs up or thumbs down. And see how many I get. So I've got one right at least. There's this one. That is red. I believe that one was a red one. We've only got a couple more. You can, you can stay with me. Hang in there, boys and girls. Whatever color that is. I think that was an orange. I think it was an orange. Again, we'll have to wait. See, now we're gonna go. I think we got one more here. We have one more coming at you right here, right now. I will have a stab at saying that one was a green. So again. I I have no idea what they were, if they were good or bad or whatever. But they're good. I do like these. However, my tongue is starting to feel like I've been chewing on the old sandpaper for a little bit. So uh, it might not be a, a long-term snack. Uh, the kids will probably just, you know, they'll just plow through these. They are, I believe these are vegan. So if you have any uh, vegan terrors running around, they can have these. So winner, winner for the vegans. Uh, and also for the carnivores, just like this guy. Anyway, folks. Um, yeah, so they're, they're good. I like those, and I'll continue to buy them. Um, and I think I've seen them do them some other ones, some zombie ones, and all the other, for Halloween and all that kind of stuff. But anyway, I'm going to put that in the basket. They will go in the Easter countdown. Anyway, we'll do another one tomorrow. Maybe a bit of a weird one tomorrow. I might compare two different things, two different variants of the same thing. We're going to be looking at marshmallow eggs, marshmallow chocolate eggs. One from Hershey, one from uh, Russell Stover, and see which one is the best. It'll be blindfolded or maybe something a little bit different. Uh, so make sure you check that sucker out. Until then, boys and girls, smash the thumbs up, smash the subscribe. I'll see you for another one tomorrow. Happy Easter countdown. Continues tomorrow. Come on, football. Come on home. Thanks again for watching. Please like, share, and most importantly, hit the subscribe button to keep you bang up to date. With all things Blackburn Rovers related, championship related, football related. We've got it all covered right under one roof. And while I still have you, please be sure to check out some of the old videos scattered along here. I hope.